Okay, so I told you I'd show you some stuff from the Delta Math on how this all kind of fits together. Um, so here I'm going to walk you through this. This might be worth writing down somewhere. I know it's not in the note packet, but it might just be a good thing to have on hand. Um, and I'm going to try and record some steps over here on the side of how we do this. So the first thing I'm looking for is I'm going to check my horizontal asymptotes. And remember to do that, we look at what the degree is. So in my numerator here, my degree is x squared. And in the denominator, it's just x. And so if I think back to the notes that we took, when we are bigger on top, right, 2 is bigger than 1. When we are bigger on top, what we say then is that we have no horizontal asymptote, so no ha. So I come over here, and I just click no horizontal asymptote. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at factoring because factoring is going to make it easy to pick out all the numbers I need. The bottom doesn't factor, which is nice, but the top, what multiplies to negative 4 adds to 3? We've got a positive 4 and a minus 1. And so really we can think of this as x plus 4 and x minus 1 over x minus 1. We're also going to take a second and we're going to cancel anything that we see going on here. So when I look at this, hopefully you notice that the x minus 1s cancel each other out. Okay, And the whole reason for canceling is because the next thing we're going to look at is the va. And the va, remember, lives in the denominator. The only problem here is we don't have anything left in the denominator. And since we don't have anything left in the denominator, we have no vertical asymptote. Okay, so it's kind of nice. Stuff's canceling out. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the x-intercept. The x-intercept comes from the numerator. So as I look at my numerator here, I see not the greatest plus sign, but I see x plus 4. And since x lies, that would be an x equals minus 4, right? x lies. And so in this box right here, I am going to put in a minus 4. I'm going to try to put in a minus... Oh, that's bad news bears. Um... Okay, um, hang tight with me for a second. Let me try something. Okay, let me try this. Let's try this one more time. I'm gonna type in a minus four. There we go. Whew, that was kind of a mission, but we would type in minus four because that's what we got when X lied to us. The next thing we're gonna do is we are going to do our, whoops, I probably want that to be blue like everything else over there. We're going to do our y-intercept. And our y-intercept comes from plugging in 0 wherever we see an x. Okay, So I see an x in those parentheses up on the top. So I'm going to put a 0 attached to that plus 4. And that tells me my y-intercept is at 4. Okay, the final thing is the hole. And this one does have a hole because something canceled out. So we gotta do the holes part. Okay, and the holes again is one of the trickier parts. But if you remember, x lies. Okay, and so as soon as we had something cancel, we should have seen that we were gonna have a hole. And that hole lives because x lies, it lives at positive one for the x value. Okay, so I'm going to come here, and I'm going to type a 1 
in the spot for the X. Notice I'm recording as I go in all my boxes so I don't have to keep track of all of it in my brain at once. Then when X equals one, I need to find the point. So I come back up here and I put in one plus four to figure out that the Y part is a five. And so once I've recorded all of that in here, then I can submit my answer, okay? And so make sure you talk through every single part of these to kind of get them figured out. So when you come to the Delta Math, those are the pieces that we're doing. Then of course, Delta Math always tries to take good care of you and make sure you know what's going on. Just notice the only thing is that um, the whole, they do the whole earlier than we did, but that's still good stuff. So all that being said, hopefully this helps you with your Delta Math. I will make sure I put together two uh, videos kind of explaining the two you have to do, or at least one of the two, maybe not both. But So be watching for those. But um, yeah, you're going to do great things. I know you will. Keep in touch.